Hey, welcome to Dan Harsh and Associates, five steps to improve sales. If you've been following this video series, you may have already watched videos one through four where we talked about defining your sales goal. We talked about creating an effective sales strategy and structure. In video three, we talked about how to create effective messaging and, and the considerations we need to think about in the channels that we deliver that message. The last video, video four, we talked about placing people, the right people in the right positions. And here in this video, our last video of the series of five steps to improve sales, we're going to be talking about making CRM an integral part of your sales process and your sales structure. So let's get right into video five. Make CRM an integral part of your sales process and structure. Why do I say that? Customer relationship management, CRM, it's a must. You must have CRM. It's not an option anymore. CRM is as important to your organization as an accounting system. That might sound pretty bold, but it is. That's how we've evolved in the sales and marketing uh, industry, arena, environment, structures. We need CRM in our organization. It is the hub. It is the engine. It's the central depository for all sales activities. Why did I put CRM as the last video in our five videos or five set five step video series? The reason I did that is because all of the things that we talked about, it needs something to harness all of that. There's something that require, is required to manage everything that we've already talked about, something that envelopes all of that. That is CRM. It's the hub. It's the engine. It's the depository for all sales and marketing activities. As a manager, it's your management tool. It's your reporting tool. It's the depository for all history within your organization, all daily activity. It's your reporting tools that you can go in real time and see what is or what is not happening. For your sales reps, for your marketing staff, it's a multitasking automation tool which allows them to cover more ground. It makes them more efficient. Interesting thing to note, every organization that, that I've been involved with has multiple types of salespeople. And this is beginning to change years ago. And when I say years ago, 15 years ago, 10 years ago, 20 years ago, the big complaint was the sales reps did not want to use CRM. Therefore, the companies, the organizations, they did not make it a priority. The sales reps were old school. They felt that CRM was a big brother tool. It was a way for the company to watch everything that they were doing, and they didn't like that. Well, I got serious issue with that because that's not for them to say. They work for the company. The company has a right to see what they're doing and to demand certain things get done. Today, five years, fast forward 10 years, 15 years from the time that I was talking about, that is changing. If you do not have CRM today, you're going to have a hard time competing. One, you're going to have a hard time competing in the market. Two, you're going to have a hard time competing with sales reps. You're not going to be able to attract sales reps today without CRM. CRM makes sales and marketing more efficient. CRM is a must. It has to be inside your organization. Without CRM, you have very limited, if any, visibility. Without CRM, you are working off of Excel spreadsheets that at a minimum are probably one week old, if not 30 days old. You're working, you're making decisions off of what your sales and your marketing people are telling you. Well, they're telling you based on what? Based on what data? 
Are they telling you based on what's fresh in their mind? Are they telling you based on what they think? Where's the data to support this? CRM is going to give you that. CRM is that engine, that hub that connects everything. It connects your sales and your marketing and the market and the customer and the prospects all together. You will not be able and you cannot make informed decisions without CRM. Can you imagine running your company without accounting? How would you make financial decisions without reporting from accounting? It almost seems ludicrous. However, sales is what drives the company. I don't need accounting without sales, but yet we don't treat sales with the same level of criticalness, impact, need. We don't. I don't understand that. I have been a CRM user and an advocate for CRM for 30 years. When I started my company, the very first thing I did was implement CRM before I even opened the doors day one. CRM has been a work in process since day one. What do I mean by that? It is constantly evolving to meet the needs of my organization. You will not and you cannot make informed decisions without it. You will not be able to compete. You cannot cover enough ground in the market. Your competitors are moving down this direction and are implementing all of the automation, all of the features, all of the benefits of CRM, all the automation tools, all the workflows. They are covering more ground, getting in front of more prospects, staying in front of the market, penetrating new markets, getting messages out in front of your customers faster and better than you are. You have to get CRM up and running to compete. You will not be able to hire moving forward without CRM. I talked about that just a few minutes ago. The market has changed. The day of the old sales rep, that, it's, it's moving on. These younger guys coming, girls coming out of college, they, they live on technology. They live on automation. The idea of not having CRM is not going to resonate well with them. You will have a very difficult time even hiring employees coming in. You cannot survive moving forward without CRM. It is a must for your organization. If you do not have CRM, here are some things you want to consider or things you want to do. Talk to some companies that do. Don't just go out and say, I'm getting it. Implementing CRM without a plan is going to be a disaster. Implementing CRM is not going to fix your problem. It's adopting CRM as your philosophy, as your strategy, is what's going to solve your problems. The software is going to create more problems if it's not implemented correctly, designed correctly, and rolled out correctly. Go out and talk to some companies that you know and ask them what they like, what they don't like. Find out. Ask if they're really using it. Ask what they use it for. Ask if they had to do it again, what would they do differently? You can get a lot of data points that you can apply into your own inter internal organization. Next is make sure you have a sales and marketing manager that is seasoned and experienced with CRM. I don't know if today you can compete in the market without a sales manager or a marketing manager that is extremely experienced with CRM. It's a must. It's like running your company without an accountant who knows anything about accounting. You wouldn't do that. You can't do that with sales either. So identify hurdles that other companies have come across. Onboard that sales and marketing manager. Get them on board and then assign an implementation team. Assign a team 
so you can build collaboration and adoption. One of the biggest downfalls, one of the biggest complaints of companies who implement CRM is user adoption. I should say the lack of user adoption, meaning people don't use it. Once again, do not believe just because you implement CRM, people are going to use it. They're not. They are set in their ways, and at first, CRM is going to seem cumbersome. It's going to seem like it takes more time, and they are not going to see the value of it. So as you begin to consider implementing this, get a sales and marketing manager on board so he or she can make sure they're educating people every step of the way as you are beginning to consider bringing it in-house. Establish that implementation team. That way, as you begin to implement it, you already have people that feel part of the process. They don't feel like you're pushing it on them or you're selling it to them. Make them part of it. Gather their input. Ask for that input. Ask how they struggle in their organization. Where could they use help? Where could they use automation? Where are the stress points? What takes time? Get that input from them and then share with them how bringing in CRM is going to help them. Get them involved in that process. Next, research a qualified, reputable CRM partner. And notice that I, that I colored the word partner. You got to get somebody who's willing to partner with you. Don't just get somebody who's going to implement it for you. You need somebody who's going to bring value to you. Somebody who's going to be there with you every step of the way. Somebody who's invested in this process with you. Somebody that it's very important for them that this implementation is successful for you. And when you start with CRM, don't start with this enterprise-wide project. Start small. Start with the basics. Get some wins. Get some successes under your belt. As you get some wins and you get some successes, that will increase user adoption. That's why you want to have an implementation team. That's why you want to start small. You don't want to make it it big and cumbersome that people don't use it. So take all those things in consideration. If you select the right partner, they should be able to walk you through everything that I am sharing with you. How do you select a CRM? Well, that can get pretty complicated. There are a lot of CRM solutions on the market. You know, you talk maybe the big three or so. You got Salesforce.com and HubSpot and Microsoft. Um, you know, there's, there's a lot of Zoho's out there, Pipeline or PipeDrive. There's a lot of them out there. You got to find one that fits your needs. One of the things you want to look at is scalability. I'm saying start small, but you have to know where am I ultimately going? I may be starting with implementing some tasks for my sales reps, covering some marketing automation things. But eventually, maybe I want to bring in my whole customer service group. Maybe I want to bring in all my service techs out in the field. Maybe I want my entire marketing group in here. Maybe I want to tie this to my accounting system. So you need to talk with a partner so we can discuss all of these types of things. So as you begin to select your CRM solution, you're selecting one that has the scalability, the ability to grow with you. You want to get one that's easy to use. And trust me, they're they're different. They all will do 95% of the exact same thing. Anyone you get is going to meet the basics that you need, but they do it a little bit differently. Some have um, an interface that is just very easy to move around. It's very intuitive. It just flows. Others takes a little more time. So get one that is easy to use. Research, talk to people, look at reviews, talk to your partners. 
one that's excellent in reporting. And this will begin to separate uh, from platform to platform. Get one that has the, the robust, the robustness to, to, to give you the level of reporting that you need, that you can get customized reporting, that you're not just limited to the canned reports within the system. Reporting is big. And ultimately, you got to get one that meets your budget. And they can be expensive, but it can be expensive not to have CRM. So if you don't have CRM, here are some considerations you may want to think about as you're considering bringing it on board. What if you have CRM, but you're not necessarily effectively using it? Well, the first place I would start would be, I'd probably look at your sales manager or your marketing manager. Why have they allowed this to happen? Are they on board with CRM? Are they a true believer in CRM? Are they, are, are, they a C, are they a CRM adopter? If they are, you're probably not going to have a user adoption problem. If you have the wrong person in the wrong position, and we talked about that in video three, you're probably going to have some problems with CRM. So if you're, not, if you're not using CRM effectively, but you have it, you might want to start with your sales manager, your marketing manager, and find out why. Is, are they the reason? Maybe you're the reason as the leader of the group, the leader of the company. Are you pushing that? Are you making it known that this is a philosophy of the company moving forward that CRM will be implemented and used? Take survey of the users. Get them involved. Why are they not using it? What don't they like about it? Get particular. Get specific about it. At some point, you need to find out, are they just not using it? Or is your CRM not set up to be conducive for how they need to use it? Major differences there. Assign an implementation team. I talked about this. If you have CRM but it's not being used, pull people in from the various areas that should be using it and form a team. Let them get involved. Let them be representative of their areas. Let them talk firsthand about the needs they have so then they can get the things implemented that are important for their group. Once again, if you can get collaboration, you're probably going to get Adoption. Bring managers and people in from all areas, management, users from groups that are using the system. Um, anywhere in the organization that is using the system, get a representative in to find out what do they need in their group. Find out if your system you have is okay and it just needs tweaked or does it need modified. Once again, research a qualified, reputable CRM partner. An effective CRM partner will do amazing things to get your CRM to where you need it to be. Lastly, do it now. CRM is a must. You have to get it up and going. You will not be able to compete as we discussed. You're going to have a difficult time implementing any of the other things we talked about in the previous videos without CRM up and running, and effectively being used. CRM, Customer Relationship Management. We talked about the necessity of it. And this is just a copy of a previous slide. Just to remind you, it's the hub. It's the core. It's the engine. It sits in the middle of everything. You have to make this the tool that your company needs. You have to meet the needs of the users. You as a manager, you as an owner, you need this tool as much as you need accounting. So make CRM an integral part of your process. Well, hey, those are some highlights for you on CRM. And CRM is a, it's a, a, a vast topic we could go on for hours 
talking about the benefits of CRM, the benefits to sales reps, the benefits to managers, the benefits to service. I mean, it could go on and on. But at the end of the day, you have to adopt it from a high level to say that I'm going to implement it into my organization for those reasons. Once I do, I'll get into how I set it up. But you got to adopt it into your organization. So, hey, this wraps up our five steps to improve sales. Hopefully, you've watched all four, video, all five videos. If you haven't, once again, the links are down below. You can jump into any one of those. I invite you to go through and, and watch all those videos. I think there's something in all of those that you can walk away with and say, I'm not doing that. That's a good point. I need to do that. If you can walk away with one thing from each video, I think it's been a success. Hey, thanks for watching these video series. Uh, look out for more to come. There'll be more like this coming our way. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you down the road. Thanks. Thanks.